This our India stop tax evader Hassan Ali was finally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate late last night after being questioned for over six hours. Ali is one of the main accused in a money laundering and tax evasion case. He reportedly has an undisclosed income of some 37,000 crore rupees. He has been booked under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. An Enforcement Directorate team comprising some 14 officers raided the stud farm owner's Pune residence yesterday. The ED cracked the whip just in time to meet the Supreme Court's March 8th deadline to the government to deal with alleged black money hoarders. His key aide, Kashinath Tapuria, a businessman from Kolkata, has also been raided. <laughs> तो अभी कहाँ लेके जाएंगे क्या होगा प्रोसेस बताएंगे जब ये मेडिकल केस हुआ हो रहा है ना हाँ नहीं हाँ ऑफिशियल कम्युनिकेशन इस यहाँ तो भी रिसीव्ड बट यस ऑफिशियल्स हैव कंफर्म दैट ही इस बीइंग अरेस्टेड नाउ लेट अस लेट अस सी द नेक्स्ट कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन बीइंग टेकन बाय then accordingly we'll take the, the next action. We have been saying that there are no funds in UBS and uh, there is in fact no funds in UBS. UBS has categorically stated that they are not maintaining any relationship with uh, Hassan Ali Khan. He was being summoned for 10th and he was picked up today. And he was picked up by uh, say around 20 uh, officers of enforcement directorate. Some statement is being recorded, uh, that has been recorded by the officers of enforcement directorate under duress, threat and coercion. He was uh, summoned for 10th. What was the need, what was the urgency for enforcement directorate to raid his premises today and to take him away to their office? This act itself shows the arbitrariness on the part of enforcement directorate. So what happened today? Because there is a matter in Supreme Court tomorrow. So probably okay. this, this might be the pressure uh, under which the state has uh, arrested him. He has been made scapegoat of, of uh, the circumstances. They have been, uh, you know, they have been conducting the investigation and so-called interrogation under Prevention of Money Laundering Act uh, during the night hours. Are these the official hours for them? Answer is no. So they themselves have crossed the limit laid down by the law.